Hello everyone, I am the Moy Chicken and welcome back to more Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Mar Oop, something happened. Hang on, hang on. I forgot that there was a loading screen there. Whoops, I thought the game froze. Anyway, yes, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Maria Mode. In the last episode, we entered the reverse castle, inverted castle. Is there a name for this? Inverted castle, I'll call it that. Um, and I had originally planned to get farther- oh, there's this thing. This thing always kind of weirded me out. Like, it's it's basically a double-sided face, and um, it's- you can't- you can't really super easily see it in the regular castle, so here it's just kind of like, yes, yes, welcome to the inverted castle. We live on these columns. Yes, we do. Actually, there's only- is there just one? Oh, hey, there's a- there's a giant skull up there. What's up, bro? How you doing? I'm gonna shoot you till you're dead. Hang on, hang on, now you're dead. Um, is there another one? I feel like there's a second sculpted face. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Uh, never mind. Is there, is there a thing here? Yes, there is. Um, I think this might be where the Daybreak Sword is in the regular game, but I'm Maria, so I don't get weapons. Anyway, yes, we came here with the intention of exploring it, and then I ran out of time, so now we are exploring it again. Um, and yeah, so... If you have never played Symphony of the Night, which uh, would be a bit of a surprise if you've gotten this far into the if you've gotten this far into the LP and you never played this game before, go play it. What's wrong with you? Um, and uh, then you may or may not know that the inverted castle, which is where we are now, because I've decided on that's the terminology we're going to use, um, is sort of like a open book to some degree. Like you do have a goal. Uh, it's not really stated up front, but you're looking for Dracula. He's, or rather, you're looking for the Dark Priest, Shaft, um, who is somewhere in here and claims he is going to revive Dracula. So presumably Dracula will be involved at some point, what with it being a Castlevania game. Um, but you're not really told how to do that at all. Um, you're given very little direction as to what you're supposed to be doing. I don't know why I saved, because I'm here, I guess. There you go. Also, I have 900 and 999 uh, hearts. Wow, that's awesome. I, I guess I'm maxed out on hearts now. Anyway, um, yeah, you're not really told where to go very much. You're kind of like, the only real clue you have, I guess you could say, is that um, that area where you, f where you uh, either encounter or fight, depending on the version of the game you're playing, um, Maria is kind of like it looks important. Can I, can I do this? Hang on, wait, can I do this? I can't do that. Oh, go figure. Um, yeah, you're not really told where to go. All you know is that, that area in the center looks important. And other than that, you just gotta explore. So, at this point, we have two options. I can choose to gaggle and go this way, which will lead me towards the inverted clock tower and the outer wall. Or I can gagger and go towards the chapel. Now, for the purposes of branding on my, my channel, I will of course gaggle because it is always the correct solution, but I honestly feel like the other way is more interesting. <laughs> so I'm admitting that I'm going to go the uninteresting way. Yay. Also, here's the giant bat. Hello, giant bat. How are you? I'm going to kill it. Now, this is one of those things where they, uh, they were just sort of like, hey, we want to use what's cool about this. N does that hurt me? No. Okay, it does actually hurt me. All right. I, I couldn't remember if that actually hurt me or not. Um, we're like, we want to use what's cool about this new technology we have. We have, maybe we should like do a cool thing with his wings. And so they made this awful visual effect, which just looks terrible. <laughs> it just doesn't look good at all. <laughs> Don't just die already. I've never taken this long to fight this guy because um, it's not hard. This is like a super easy boss if you're playing as Alucard, but I'm not, I'm playing as Maria. That's the whole point of the series, and so I don't really have much of a strong attack against it. Eh, no, I missed. Um, so I just, I'm just gonna have to kind of grind away at it. One, one of the things we're gonna see in the revert. Oh, is he dead? I think I killed it. Yep, there we go. Its paper thin wings have been destroyed, and it burns as paper does, and then it drops this. Not what I thought it would drop. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it dropped a health up. That's not what I thought it would drop at all. Uh, hmm. Does that not happen in this version? I don't know. I, again, I've never been here as Maria. What I expected it to drop was a relic. And um, the, the main, 
I, theme, I guess, of the Re Reverse Castle is finding the, uh, what would you call them? Treasures, aspects, holy relics, uh, or unholy relics of Dracula. It's a reference basically to uh, Castlevania II, Simon's Quest, in which you were you were required to acqu required to acquire um, five different objects which relate to Dracula's resurrection. You needed the eye of Dracula, the rib of Dracula, the nail, which was like a thumbnail of Dracula, not that kind of thumbnail, <laughs> a uh, the heart of Dracula, and Oh, which one am I forgetting? Let's see. Oh, did I say orb? Is there an orb? I feel like there's an orb of Dracula, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Let's see. It's rib, heart, uh, nail, tooth. I think it's tooth of Dracula. Yes, Dracula's fang. That makes sense. Makes more sense than the orb of Dracula, which I don't think is a thing. Um, and in in that game, you had to, you had to collect them all, and you would be able to resurrect him so that you could kill him again, and thus undo Simon's curse somehow. Never explain why he didn't just get cursed again. I don't really understand the plot of Simon's quest, but there you go. In this one, you're just tr you need to get all of those to reveal the way to that spooky central place, which is where he is. Of course, it is. Um, and I thought that the bat, the giant bat, would provide one of those, but they are considered relics. Like if you've played the original Symphony of the Night, you know that uh, Alucard gets a variety of relics throughout the throughout his journey. Um, the various aspects of Dracula are also uh, relics, and since Maria doesn't have that, maybe it just doesn't happen for her. I don't know. I mean, I, I'll, I'll take a health up, that's great, but it was just sort of a surprise. So uh, we, we have to wander around the castle and find all of the monsters. Now, one thing that is a lot of fun about this part... Oh, this is going to be awful as Maria. Normally I just kind of turn into mist and fly through that area because it's full of annoying enemies. It's full of the cloaked knights, and they are tough to fight. Um... But I will have to try to get through somehow as Maria. Maybe I can do my uh, invincible thing. I'll 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 give it a oh he hello cloak knight. How are you? Uh, come here, come here. What's up, bro? I'm gonna shoot you. Bam. Uh, let's see. So yep, there's that. And I think there's a heart up on the other side, which I don't know what it will do, because I think I have max hearts at this point. Unless you can go over a th go over 999 and it just doesn't tell you how much it is. Which would not be the first game to do that. Um, now, these guys are super important for uh, Alucard. Well, in my opinion, they're super important for Alucard because they drop the Heaven Sword. And the Heaven Sword is like the most broken weapon in the game. Well, Chrysogrim's pretty broken too. It's one of the most broken weapons in the game. Um, but we are not Alucard. We are not allowed to have weapons because we are Maria and we fight with. Mag magical beam powers and mighty kick. Um, anyway, uh, what was I, I was talking about? Oh yeah, so um, the the various relics of Dracula. Let's okay, hang on. Before I get into that, I'm gonna cut myself off again and try to let's see. Was it go around down? Rip. Nope. Rip. Uh, Ed, if you need to, just fast forward through this. I want. I want to, I want to get good at this. Alright, I give up. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I give up. I'm just gonna try and get through the room. <laughs> this is not working out for me. I'm just gonna do this. Ah, 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 this worked better anyway. <laughs> I forgot that that's considered a damaging attack. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, jeez. I need to go through that door. I need to go through that door. Oh, no, it's closed. <laughs> Whatever. No, no. Ah, go. Go, Maria. <laughs> no. All right. Did run, run <laughs> from the cloak knights. There's so many. What am I doing? Stop dashing. <laughs> Stop. Go. Maybe yes. 
Escape! Escape! No! 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 So many cloak knights! Look at all of them! Oh gosh! No! I want to escape! Why are there so many flambearges here? Okay, I made it! No! Not quite! Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! Oh, you! Now you too! Okay! We made it! Hooray! We escaped the cloak knight room! Huzzah! The cloak room, in fact. Hello, where's there, there he is? I was like, there's a Valhalla Knight somewhere around here. Um. Anyway, yes. So I, I escaped and then ran into a Valhalla Knight and then I kicked him and it was awesome. Um. Yeah. So what I was about to say before I completely failed to use invincibility because I'm not good at fighting games. Um. Was that all of the bosses, or at least several of the bosses that are included in this particular area, are references? two bosses from the original Castlevania. And I think the, like, I, I'm guessing that the intended idea there is that this castle, the invert, the inverse castle, is Dracula's actual castle. That the fact that, like, the, the regular Castlevania we were in before is kind of like a like a substitute or like a fake version of the, um, of Dracula's uh, regular castle and so now we're in the actual one which means all of his servants are present so like death's here frankenstein's monsters here um the mummy man which i think is named akum akmodon the fourth something like that it's like a he has like an official name that's like really fancy sounding uh so i guess it's a specific pharaoh i don't know and the giant bat. We already fought the giant bat, so it's it's kind of a neat little throwback. That's a throwback to both Castlevania One and Castlevania Two. Um, and I th did we go all the way through? I think we went all the way through the. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Look, we went through most of the place. I did miss some. I uh, missed some c map completion there. Ah, I don't care. It's fine. Uh, so we have, we are finished with the clock tower. It's uh, it's not very hard. Because, um, it's sort of a funny thing that I noticed in this game is that, like, uh, when you're, when you're playing the first castle, like, in my opinion, the first castle is more interesting than the second. That's where all the plot happens, it all happens in the first, first castle, and because you have the ability to fly as Alucard, you, um, the levels are just sort of mush in the second castle, because it's like... They don't have to worry about interesting platforming or anything like that because you can fly, so you just kind of do whatever. And like, like a lot of the areas are sort of like this, where you just uh, have to hop a bunch. I don't know. It's it's just less interesting to me, and the music's not as good. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I will uh, I will touch on that in the next episode because I just realized I'm just about up against time. So we will call this one here. In the next episode, we will continue to explore. We'll probably get to the library. The reverse long library. So the short library, presumably. I am the Moya Chicken. This is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Thanks for stopping by. Shoo! Shoo!